welcome to Fair Tech. I am Dina Ventura. And I'm Giorgio Silvestre. And our guest this afternoon is a dear friend of mine. She is a glass sculptor. She studied glass cold working at the studio at Corning Museum of Glass in Corning, New York, USA, and glass casting and design Kamenitsky. in Kamenitsky Shanov, Shanov uh, in Czech Republic. So, hi, may we present to you Miss Marge Organo. Hello, hi everybody. Thank you for having me today here at your um, program, Perfect. I'm very glad to meet you finally in person. Yes. Your works are, wow. No, Jojo? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's my pleasure. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So, uh, tell us how you started in this industry. Well, actually, I started, um, it's uh, um, supposed to be a hobby because I was already, like, towards my retirement. And I've always been doing art when I was younger, but then there's no formal lessons or anything. I just want to do art because I just really love to do it. So when um, my business was already running on its own, I didn't think that there's something else that I could do anymore. So like, you know, when, when you're younger, you go to school and then when you get married, you take care of the kids. You have nothing to, no time for anything else. So when I was, uh, my, my kids were already stable and my business was running on its own, I said it's time for myself also to do what I want to do. Okay. So I went to enroll in um, art lessons, starting with um, drawing and painting, but uh, I was looking for something else. So I said I might as well go to study sculpture. So I, I went to study sculpture in one of the workshops in Quezon City. And during that time, while I was studying sculpture, um, some of my friends noticed that um, my sculpt, may, maybe my sculpture was acceptable to them. So they invited me to join a um, national exhibit. Mm -hmm. It was Ally Sinning at first. Mm -hmm. And true enough, I joined Ally Sinning in the same year, that was 2014. Mm -hmm. Although my pieces were not sold um, on that exhibit, a gallery noticed my works mm -hmm. and they offered to represent me. Of course, I'm very overwhelmed by the fact that a gallery should even pay attention to my work because I'm not really a professional artist. Mm -hmm. I just started there as a hobbyist and all. Mm -hmm. So I allowed them to display my works in their uh, gallery. And um, luckily, my pieces were sold out, so I was wow. very encouraged. Glass was your chosen medium already? No, the, the first time I start when I started, I was just doing clay, mm -hmm. uh, figurative sculpture, and, um, and, and resin. I molded them, I casted them in resin. I thought that um, women, there, there were not too many women in, um, in sculpture. But when I found out in that exhibit that there were a lot of very talented female sculptors, mm -hmm. I said to myself, I think um, I'll just give the stage to them. Um, mm -hmm. I was starting at a very mature age already, and I don't stand a chance or I won't stand out. or I, I really will not be noticed if I was doing the same thing as everybody right. else. But then I always wanted to have a glass sculpture for myself, but I know it's very expensive and I cannot afford it. Mulani. And being a DIY mm -hmm. mom that I am, I, I said I'd, I'd rather go and study glass sculpture myself mm -hmm. and make my own glass sculpture. Mm -hmm. So why not? So I did some research and I applied at Corning Museum of Glass. That's where I discovered. They are the most um, prestigious glass school glass uh, workshop mm -hmm. in, in the world, the world. I think. Wow. yes because they're very well known mm -hmm. um, so I said okay I tried to apply even if I don't have a background in glass sculpture and luckily one year later I was notified that I I was accepted already mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I'm very happy and um, I went on to Corning Museum of Glass and that's how everything how long started. was the training for that well you have uh, you can you can choose to take like a two-week program, mm -hmm. um, three-week program, but I, I stayed there for like a month. Okay. And that was like very intensive, huh? It's not like 
okay, you're you're going to be taught about history of art and everything. Nothing theoretical. It's like everything was concentrated on the, 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 the subject actual. that you want. Okay. So I was working from 8 o'clock in the morning until 12 midnight, like every day, mm -hmm. every single day, until the cleaners would come inside the classroom and said, it's time to close, so you have to leave. But if they didn't come, I would have been Stay. working like 24 hours a day because I really wow. love to do it. Mm -hmm. And glass sculpture, if you don't have assistants, mm -hmm. if you don't have assistants working mm -hmm. with you, it can be very tedious. The, it's very labor intensive, mm -hmm. you know. You have to go through all of these um, uh, stages in order to make the uh, opaque glass mm -hmm. uh, brilliant, like transparent and brilliant. So that's the hard part, like mm -hmm. doing everything by yourself. Tell us about the medium. What's special about glass? Yeah, glass is, uh, there are different kinds of glass. I can only talk about the kind of glass that I, I use yeah. uh, mm -hmm. as my medium. Mm -hmm. But uh, the limited knowledge mm -hmm. I know about the other uh, kinds of glass are that like we have window glass, we have bottle glass, um, and we have optical glass, we have lead optical glass, crystal. Yeah. So uh, the, the, the medium that I use, which is optical glass, it's also called crystal sometimes mm -hmm. because it has a high refractory index. Refractory index means that it has a very brilliant shine when it, it's polished. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. um, but there's a more brilliant kind of glass, which is uh, lead crystal glass, but it's very heavy. It's like it, it has lead in it, so it has metal. And sometimes they say it's, it's kind of dangerous, but I don't think it's that dangerous because it has only... Um, and a little amount of lead that goes with it. Mm -hmm. So where do you get your materials? Your glass? Yeah. They are imported from mm -hmm. other countries. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why it's very expensive. The material itself is expensive, but also the what adds to the the, the high cost is that you know we have to import, we have to pay um, importation yeah. cost, mm -hmm. and we have to pay in U.S. dollars. And the other materials also that I use, like the one that I use it for, I use for lamination, mm -hmm. and the other um, uh, glue that I use, it's also imported. They're all imported. It we sounds like buy them the here. whole process is really tedious, as you yes, were saying. Yes, what goes mm -hmm. into the process of creating a sculpture? Well, it's all carving. Um, my my technique is all glass carving and polishing. I don't use any kind of fire. Okay. Or it's, it's actually very environment friendly. Okay. I don't. Um, I always thought there was fire involved in it. <laughs> no, no. The only heat that I use is f to cure the the mm. glue that I use. Mm. So otherwise, everything is because I'm an uh, advocate of the environment. So I wouldn't want anything to be going to the environment. Like, you know, if you if you bake it or fire it, mm -hmm. it uses a lot of you know a, 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 carb a carbon footprint. So. I just um, grind, like, you know, it's like shaping uh, a wood uh, sculpture. Mm -hmm. you, 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 uh, you cut some sides and you grind some sides and then you polish it to a brilliant mm -hmm. shine. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. But then, you know, it's like so easy to say, but every single side of the glass, when you cut it, you have to grind it um, six different uh, grits in order to be able to achieve <laughs> uh, in all order to be able to achieve the brilliance that you want okay so I think that's what uh, really distinguishes your work your, the, the brilliance Did yes i like, like i like brilliant things i like <laughs> gold i got i like diamonds mm -hmm. and i like glass so okay. you mean the glasses that are not ma that are manufactured here no no are, no. are not sufficient no. for for the purpose no we only manufacture here the the glass that they use for bottles ah, and okay. for windows okay yeah. even those green green yeah, yeah. glasses yeah i think those oh. are um uh, for windows only. So h how do you create uh, a work of art? Do you go through a process like <laughs> you, you pray, you, you what? What's I, I, do, I do pray a lot actually, although I don't look like I'm um, a prayerful <laughs> person. <laughs> I, I pray a lot, but then I get inspired with a lot of things. Like everything I see, the works of the other artists, um, I, I, I do some research and everything, but 
um, most of the time, it's because I challenge myself to do something better than what I was taught. Mm -hmm. uh, I look at, when, when I first came out of uh, glass school, yeah. I, oh, people would ask me, can you make this? Like yeah. when I m met um, the, the owners of Daily Tribune, they asked me if I could like do uh, nudes in glass. And I was saying, no, I cannot because that's what they, they, they taught, that, that's not what they taught us. But it was a challenge to me also, like if, will I be able to do this with the mm -hmm. technique that I'm using? Mm -hmm. And true enough, now I'm making uh, torsos. Wow. I'm making mm -hmm. nude, um, nude figures yeah. already. Mm -hmm. So it's just about how if you dare to do something and experiment on it, mm -hmm. And if not, if it's not successful, you can just do it all over again. What were your early yeah. subjects? I'm yeah. just curious. <laughs> so, uh, before it was like what we were taught is like uh, mm. geometric, geometric okay. uh, designs. Mm. Yeah, abstract geometrics. Mm. So I I'd get like uh, my my works before were like uh, square or triangular or cubes. Okay. That. Those were my first uh, works. Early what were organo. the size? The, like uh, small ones or massive ones? Well, you know, here in the Philippines, we always like big pieces for art pieces because mm -hmm. they don't really notice small ones, right? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> it's either you, you get noticed if you wear it just like what I'm wearing now. <laughs> Very beautiful. One of my works. Mm -hmm. But yeah. otherwise, if you make a small piece of glass sculpture and you put it on the side, People will not really notice it and they don't really appreciate it because they're always thinking that it might be, you know, um, the, the uh, things that you buy from, from the depar department <laughs> stores or uh -huh. the, uh, at the craft stores. Mm -hmm. But here I wanted to make like uh, bigger ones like mm -hmm. my, my glass is really heavy. So the bigger it is for me, the more attractive. Okay. So they, they're very heavy. So I have at least I have assistance here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Not like when I was studying that I just had to do it all on my own. Mm -hmm. But they were all also very challenging. I think the ones that I did when I was starting are even harder to make than those that I'm doing now. How, how do you go about it? Do, do you first draw it, and or do you do you? I used to do that. You... I used to do that. Like I, I do a sketch and then I I. Uh, Measure. cut the glass i cut the glass according to the sketch mm -hmm. but um maybe i'm because of my um, stubbornness i don't even follow myself so oh. when i make a sketch i end up doing something yeah. else oh, okay. it's just something to start with and then especially with glass if mm -hmm. you're working with glass sometimes you cannot visualize the the, the brilliance and the how it will reflect on one side. Mm -hmm. So I have to do an actual test when it's already being made. Wow. So yeah, I everything, even the, the designs that I put on the Santo Nino figures, mm -hmm. I just freehand them because you cannot draw on the glass and then put a mark on it because mm -hmm. it's transparent on the side. Yeah. The challenge here is how to put all those layers of glass together Without seeing, um, without um, showing the the um, the ugly part, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you cannot you cannot Seamless. put the shadows How there. Yeah, it has to be, it has to be beautiful full from all the sides because okay. I put a round ta a turntable mm -hmm. and it just turns around, so you okay. cannot just escape. You cannot escape um, the eyes of the viewer. If you're just cheating them, mm -hmm. you you mentioned about uh, the Santo Nino. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us how you you got started. I understand you you went to Prague. No? Yes, yes. So, I've always been a devotee of Santo Nino, but when I went to Prague uh, to study, yes, to I I went to Prague to study glass mm -hmm. uh, to augment what I learned in New York, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I, I went to uh, search for the Santo Nino, the shrine. And when I met the Santo Nino in person, like I was so overwhelmed that uh, I made it my mission to be able to create something like that in the future in glass. I didn't know how. Mm -hmm. I really didn't know how. Mm -hmm. I, it was just a dream for me. 
Because I've never seen any Santo Nino in glass before. That's true, no? There's only one uh, I, uh, I saw on the internet, uh, but it was made by a friend of mine mm -hmm. in Corning that I met in um, Corning. He's, uh, he's a very famous teacher of glass blowing. Mm -hmm. he, he made a Santo Nino, a glass blown Santo Nino, and he gave it to Pope Francis. Tell us how you actually saw the the image. Yeah, I was. I, I wanted to uh, buy some uh, Santo Nino images um, and have it blessed mm -hmm. at the shrine, but it was like late already. They were closed, so I tried to go inside. You know, may pagka atrebida kasi ako. I went to peer inside the rooms that were locked, and mm -hmm. luckily, parang one of the rooms were. Uh, quite open, so I I knocked and I I peeped inside and I saw the priest there, mm -hmm. and I was asking if he could like bless what I bought, mm -hmm. but then I uh, the I uh, I saw one of the shelves. What attracted me is like there's a small statue of Santo Nino there, and I asked if that's the Santo Nino de Prague. Mm -hmm. They said they were renovating the altar during that time, so they had to take it out and put it in the sacristy. Mm -hmm. So I was like. You know, I was close to tears. I was so overwhelmed. Like, there's something, Santo Nino is telling me something. Mm. Then I asked lang, uh, if the priest is willing to, for me to take a picture of the Santo Nino and take a picture with him. And he, the, the secretary was saying, no, this is a restricted area. You have to go, you have to go. But father is very annoyed by it. He, <laughs> he said, okay, okay, come, let's oh. take a picture. So I, I was holding all these mga plastic bags na mga binili ko. And I, <laughs> nataranta ako, <laughs> I put it down somewhere. Mm -hmm. I, I asked the secretary, please take our picture since father naman is willing. Uh -huh. So I, I tried to, you know, push my luck a little bit more. <laughs> I said, father, can I hold the, the infant Jesus and have a picture with you? And he said, yes, of course you can. <laughs> oh my God. It's like, you know, uh, everything, I, I, I was so, you know, um, everything locked out, like, my yeah. eyes was just on the Santo Nino. Parang yeah. I, I was so blessed during that day. Yeah. Parang I even ha was even having goosebumps, goosebumps. <laughs> and parang teary eyed and all. Mm -hmm. So, yun I have. Uh, and See then, what happens when you ask for it. No? Yeah. That's yeah. Right. So parang sabi ko maybe he he was telling me something. Mm -hmm. And then the next day I went there again. I went to visit the museum and there. There's where I found all these Santo Nino clothes, na very colorful. You know, we are like limited here. We are limited to like Santo Nino red. wearing red lang green. or green lang or or white mm. or gold lang. But there you can see it's very colorful with flowers and everything. Mm. And I said one day I'm going to do something like this. The bright no, we don't colors, really see that. the brilliance. But I went home. I came home and um, you know they were just like thoughts before, mm -hmm. and pandemic came. You know everybody was praying, everybody's sick. You don't know where to go. Yeah. Sabi ko, I think this is high time for me to experiment making Santo Nino. Okay, <laughs> let's hold it there because that's a very interesting. I can't interesting wait to hear about <laughs> it. Yes. Let's just pause for a commercial break first. We'll be right back. Magtitiis ka na lang pa sa e-wallet at lumang bank apps mo. I need to go to the bank branch and deposit a check pa. Sige lang ta! So, I said to do it one by one. I need to send my bank deeds again and again. There is no more! With UB, hindi ka na mahahassle, hindi ka na magsistruggle, at hindi ka na magta-travel pa to the bank branch to transact. Ayos? Ayos! Download Union Bank online now.
of doors opening, millions of paths unfolding, and millions of reasons to keep going. Now's the time to be with a network that gets better every day for you. Fiber is the free and secure way to connect with friends and family anywhere. Send messages and make phone and video calls for free. Download Viber now. So our glass sculptor, Marge Organ, has been sharing with us her stories about her, her, her being, uh, her, her going to, to Prague and then seeing the How she the became infant. a glass sculptor. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then he, she, she went to Prague, she, she studied there, mm -hmm. and then she visited the... the, the Santonino. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So tell us more, how has... Uh, the Santonino affected your life? Ano ba ang nangyari na sa... May mga natanggap ka bang mga miracles or...? <laughs> oh yes, I think, I think I attribute all this, uh, the things that are happening to me now um, fr from as uh, sa, sa Santonino. Kay Santonino talaga. <laughs> Kasi mm. when I, I, I started uh, making Santonino during the pandemic, mm. it was in 2020. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 2020. Um, parang, you know, we... we came to a standstill right mm -hmm. everybody was uh, at home mm -hmm. we cannot go out we cannot work mm -hmm. so uh sa akin parang nagpahinga rin kami sa paggagawa ng art dahil wala ka namang ano uh, although continue uh, continuous yung work namin sa studio yung workers sa studio kaya lang we slowed down a little bit so i had time to make uh, santoni experiment on making mm -hmm. a figure a figurative um, a sculpture which you never did before um i think uh, i made mga figures dati parang mother and child uh, but okay. santoni i never, never. did yung kasi boom, medyo marami siyang ano eh, may may you know they have it has small parts like cross mm -hmm. and uh, the, the world, oh, oh, the world, kamay, uh -huh. lahat. So, <laughs> saka you cannot just um, let it go na glass lang siya. Wala siyang ibang decorations kasi it's not going to be as it is pag wala yung mga decorations uh -huh. sa damit, di ba? So, eto na, I, I tried to experiment. Parang experiment lang nung una, una I didn't think na uh, magiging okay naman, but I was like making it for myself lang, not mm -hmm. for anybody. Mm -hmm. So, nung natapos ko, oh, yung maganda pala, I, I really liked it. And mm -hmm. then I showed uh, the gallery. So, this is what I made for myself during the pandemic. Aba, so I was <laughs> like, I sent it to, to the church for it to be blessed. Mm -hmm. Aba, parang, no, 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 we want it, we want it. <laughs> <laughs> And they sent right away somebody to pick it up. E nauna pa yung nagpipick up kesa yung inutosan ko sa church na <laughs> magpa-bless. <laughs> o sabi ko, o sige na nga, sabi ko, I'll just make another one. And then, like, another one and another one. And then I had a, an exhibit na all Santo Nino. And um, luckily, um, they were all sold out. And hanggang, so, this is like, what, the second year that I'm making Santo Nino? Mm -hmm. Up to now, I don't have my own. <laughs> Everything all That's the irony. That's the irony is uh, I don't have my own up. Santo Nino. Oh, how long does it take for you to make oh, one? Oh, it takes a long time, but um because I have assistants, mm -hmm. we can we can do everything simultaneously okay, naman. So it's a little bit faster so, now. If I count the days for one single Santo Nino to be finished, it will take like Two or three months oh, wow. to finish. Yes. Oh, yes. Pala. Ang ganda oh, eh. oh. Considering the the things that you have to to do in order to finish um, the the whole One piece. piece. Oh. Okay. You know, intermission to ha. It, mm. it, uh, 
nagtataka ako kasi iba-ibang kulay. Do, do you put color to the glass? Or? Yes, yes. That's what mm-hmm. I learned in Corning. Mm-hmm. Uh, they taught okay. us how to put color. Mm-hmm. But the color that they taught us was like simply lang. So that, that, that there's where my experimentation uh, mm-hmm. happened again. And I tried to, you know, experiment. Mm-hmm. Na okay naman. Uh-oh. So Uh-oh. Uh-oh. now I'm having rainbows and, uh, you know, all the, that stuff in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's beautiful. Ganda, no? mm-hmm. And my classmates were asking, uh, in Corning, were asking how I do it. Mm-hmm. But um, they have to experiment also themselves and, uh, you know, discover. Would you say that that's what makes a mar- Marge organ or work different? No, no. That is, yes. Oh, the colors. Because I think um, mm-hmm. even in the, I, I don't know if there's anybody who have come up with the same uh, sculpt, uh, the designs that I'm coming up oh, mm-hmm. oh, no. in the whole world. I think I'm the only one who's Talaga. doing that. So uh-huh. I still have to see some people, uh, some art glass artists, making the same. Otherwise, uh, they also do colored like that. Uh, pieces uh-huh. like that, Ganda, but oh. ano, mm-hmm. blown glass. I think blown glass. that's yeah. the Filipino in her. Huh? I know. Mm-hmm. You, oh, oh. Yeah, that's the advantage of being a Filipino. In a third world country, you you like, you know, you you like to to do stuff na parang. If I were in the U.S., hindi ko siguro magagawa yun. There's a lot of things that are not uh, allowed. Like when I was studying, I, I tried to do something with the sculpture. Mm-hmm. And my teacher said, that's not the way to do it. Mm-hmm. But I said, this is uh, art. You know, you have freedom to do anything. <laughs> so I said, okay, if that's what you want. But don't tell anybody that you did it in my class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Parang, you know, being a stubborn person that mm-hmm. I am, Sabi ko, when I get back to Manila, I can do anything I want already. <laughs> so when I came here, and you when did. I came back, yes, I did. <laughs> and you know what? Mm-hmm. She, she really did that, no? Mm-hmm. But she's a mother. I know. Yes. She has other aspects of oh, her oh. life. Yes. Oh, oh. Tell us more about your family. Oh, oh. Yeah, your I have uh, three boys and one girl. My daughter is also embarking on her own glass career already. She has uh, shown mm-hmm. her work at Manila Art the last time and um, mm-hmm. um, displaying in other galleries. Mm-hmm. So uh, I also sent her to Corning Museum of Glass, but she's using a different technique. My son is now managing the family business, which mm-hmm. is the pharmaceuticals company, mm-hmm. which is quite uh, doing, do, actually it's doing better than when I was managing it. So <laughs> I think it's in good hands and I'm okay. very comfortable now. Okay. Uh, uh, I have my own life already, although he still supports me. <laughs> he still supports me, but um, I'm glad na, uh, I have already left the business to him. And Because do, being an artist, you cannot do it part-time. I know. You have to be full-time, mm-hmm. especially with glass. Mm-hmm. Everything has to be in focus. the right uh, mm-hmm. uh, focus and time mm-hmm. and attention. It should be that way. Otherwise, if it's part-time lang, mm-hmm. you won't be able to come up with nice pieces unless ano lang, hobby is ka lang talaga. But uh, it started out as a hobby for me mm-hmm. until people got attracted to what I'm doing. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm happy and I'm very thankful to the collectors mm-hmm. who believe in my work and who believe in what I do. And I'm very inspired by them. Oh, what? tell us about your other sons. Yeah, my other sons. Uh, one of them is a nurse. In, he's in the U.S. And he doesn't want to come back here anymore. <laughs> and my, my son, youngest son, he just passed the uh, the medical board exam. So he's a doctor already. And I Very hope successful that... children. Huh? And very handsome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I hope he can find a, a nice hospital where he can become a resident mm-hmm. this year, I hope. Okay. Yeah, but otherwise, no, my children are, and I were just like, Barcada, mm-hmm. you know, we, we enjoy each other's companies. Mm-hmm. They we we go. They my children, parang sila yung magbabarkada talaga. They go out together. They play mm-hmm. tennis together. Mm-hmm. They vacation together. Mm-hmm. And kasama din ako minsan if I'm not busy <laughs> with my work. But most of the time, kasi you know, if you're old already, you cannot. Um, walk a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I just tell them, na sige kayo na lang, you mm-hmm. just go. 
and I'll just come when I don't have to do a lot of walking. <laughs> yeah, you told us earlier that you started out with your art quite mm. late already. Mm -hmm. Yes. So at that time, uh, how old were your kids, and how did they take? Oh, they were to all grown shift? up already. I I've oh. been in the um, art business um, for about six, seven years long. Mm -hmm. So, I'm a senior citizen now. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm just wondering, is there an artist that you look up to, someone that you admire? Mm. Sino ba yung parang naging role model mo? Maraming mag... I, I, I uh, idolize a lot of Filipino artists. Like who? Um, there's a lot. Uh, there are my, they are my friends. So, baka mamaya I say somebody's name and then <laughs> magsaselos yung mga iba. Uh, so, uh, talagang I, I love Filipino artists are very, very talented and I'm so proud of them. Uh, uh -huh. But with the, with the glass, uh, most of those who inspire me are mga uh, European artists. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, those uh -oh. who are, kasi most of the time, glass is... Uh, mostly glass blowing uh -oh. and glass casting. Uh -oh. I, I like them both, but um, I'm attracted more to the process that I'm I'm using now. I also went to study glass casting, but I don't like it as much as what uh, I, I'm doing the the cold working process. What do you call your yours? It's not casting. It's not blowing. It's uh, cold working. Cold working. Cold working. Yeah, yeah. cold working. It's the process for everybody who's making glass. Parang, kumbaga, if you're not cold working to, to carve your glass into a certain shape, mm -hmm. when you do glass blowing, the last part of uh, uh, finishing is cold working. So, cold working is yan yung naghahasain mo siya, mm -hmm. pakikinisin mo yung mga tusok-tusok, o pakikintabin mo. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. That's the cold working process. Okay. So, you don't have to make pukpok. Walang ganon. No, uh, okay, no, okay. no, no, no. Uh, Walang ganun. Um, uh, uh, we cut. We have a uh, glass cut, cut, uh, uh, cutter, which sometimes it's considered very dangerous. Like first time na ako. Uh -huh. Even my my workers, uh -huh. when I trained them, everybody's so scared because you know <laughs> you have this huge, huge blade. Uh -huh. You know, have this glue. Tapos ang bilis niyang grrr, you know, it, it uh -huh. tastes like that. Uh -huh. And then you have to put the glass there. You have to cut uh -huh. the glass. That's what we get, yun, de ba? And they, maybe, you know, there's a, there's like a platform okay, okay. that you have you just push and uh, and pull and then slide it to the uh, okay. other side, <laughs> but you have to do it correctly. Mm -hmm. Like you cannot Precise. like cut it like wood na parang shh, mm. finish. No, you have to do it like slowly and kailangan may rhythm karen. Mm -hmm. So when when I just I was just training them, they were all like so scared. <laughs> Kasi when you cut glass. Tumatal si kyan eh, just ah, like wood. Talaga. So you have to wear May mga splinters. So you have to wear protective oh uh, ano, goggles for your eyes. Oh, oh. But then, uh, we were specifically told by our teacher in New York mm. that you cannot wear long sleeves. Because? I might get caught. Yeah, kasi na, bukod oh, doon, oh. yeah, that's right, that's right. I was gonna <laughs> say that. It will get, it might get caught oh, in the oh. saw, in the blade. Oh my God. Mm. Or, when it when the split the glass, glass splinters, uh, splinters um, get attached to the shirt, you know they, they get attached to the to the shirt kasi. Okay. so in, you cannot just shake it off. Baka oh. maiwan yon and then masusugatan ka or oh, anything. Oh. So they prefer na bare ang arms mo, oh, oh. but you cannot rub it to clean it. You have to spray it with water. Oh. You flush it with water. Oh. Otherwise, you'll get ano, you'll get oh. glass cuts. And Scratches. you know when you get glass cuts, and daming dugo. Ari. Konti ano lang, talaga ang dami daming dugo. Do you work the whole day? I I uh, ano ang kwan mo typical day? Um, most of the days I'm I'm at the studio. I'm not as uh, physically active now because I have assistants already. Mm. So I I supervise them then. When I have to demonstrate what I want, sometimes kasi sa sabi ganito ang ikakat natin na part. Mm -hmm. I have to demonstrate it myself. Mm -hmm. I think I sent you a video na but I'm I'm uh, cutting. Uh, yeah, I'm grinding <laughs> grind. glass. We hear that you have this uh, special project going on in Halahala. -hala. Yes, yes, I Tell do. Tell us about it. <laughs> well, at first, like like when I started glass, everything was just starting. I started mm -hmm. as a hobby, but this one, 
since I'm already at a ripe age of uh, retirement, <laughs> everybody wants to uh, to prepare for his retirement. So yeah. I wanted to have like a farm mm. where I can like ganchillo and watch the sunset. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but then, ano, parang lumaki ng lumaki because maybe it's what Santo Nino was directing me to do. Um, when I was younger, I always wanted to have a chapel of my own. Okay. And then this one, <laughs> parang it presented me with a very nice location on top of the hill, you know, when you have like a chapel on top of the hill and you, you are overlooking the Laguna Bay wow. and the mountains on the in, in the background. What else is a better place to put a chapel, right? Parang right. sa Italy, you have a yeah. chapel on Hillside the hill and chapels. all. And then... Um, because before, I was contemplating on donating a glass Santo Nino to a deserving church mm -hmm. every, uh, somewhere. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the Santo Nino that I'm going to make will, will be, be for that in chapel. the chapel oh. already. And aside from that, mm. sabi ko, since Santo Nino has been blessing me a lot, I think it's only proper that I give him tribute by building a huge um, Santo Nino stat statue on top of the hill. Oh, wow. So there's going to be, um, it's also being done by another artist, mm. a, scul uh, a sculptor, another sculptor. It's going to be a 60 foot Santo Nino on oh. top of the Made hill. Of? of uh, it's reinforced concrete. Naman. Oh, we cannot, wow. but yes, we will collaborate. Oh, oh. Magdad, lalagay din ako ng glass ko doon. Something glass. Wow, mag finally you'll have your own Santo Nino. Yeah. Yes, yes. Finally, yes. <laughs> alam ba ng it's the fulfillment. Oh yes, of oh. course. Oh, alam nila. Oh, because oh. I just had the groundbreaking in April twenty one. I okay. invited uh, uh, the Bishop of Antipolo, but um, unfortunately he was out of the country to, to do some obligations. Mm. But the auxiliary bishop, Father Noli Boko, he was very kind enough to come and Bless. and you know to bless our groundbreaking. Okay. But the bonus to that is, ito talagang bait ni Santo Nino sa akin. <laughs> Imagine, I didn't prepare for it. K kasi blessing lang eh. You know, it's too much to ask naman. Mm. Magmakaawa ka nga, short notice pa. So, I was just expecting him to bless. But then he offered to say mass as well. Mm. So, oh, nagkaroon oh. ng mass. So, I if, if Father Noli is... Uh, listening to this <laughs> naiwan niya yung cup niya sa akin. Ah, talaga? Aba? <laughs> naiwan oh, niya kaya I've yet to go and visit him and um, return to him it. kasi made in Italy siya hindi siya made in oh. China. <laughs> <laughs> what do you intend for the place to be eventually? Yeah. yeah um, Tell us. Aside from of course Santo Nino is my primary purpose. Yes. And then saving the environment mm -hmm. that's why lumaki nang lumaki yung place because I saw people who were burning Ah. Parang kaingin, they were doing kaingin, di ba? It's bad for the environment. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, if I have a chance to stop them, which I cannot if they own the property, then baka naman pwedeng ibenta na lang nila sa akin so that oh. I can just give them an alternative uh, right. uh, livelihood. Mm -hmm. So, yung mga iba pumayag naman. So, ayan, lumaki ng lumaki. Uh -huh. Now, I'm, I'm going to give them extra jobs. Well, this one is going to be a, a tourist spot already Ay. and an artist village. But my original concept for Artist Village was to invite artists to give, you know, training program, mm. uh, art workshops mm. for painting, for mm. sculpture, for pottery, for everything, anything that, that's related with visual arts. So, yun ang purpose ko nung una, until some of the artists proposed to me na, why don't you just set aside a certain community where we can buy property there also, in mm. smaller, smaller cuts of uh, land, and, and then we can up. put our studio there right. and then we can have like a, an artist village there so all the artists will oh, be God. neighbors with each other oh. yeah. so that's what we did okay so i hope na and this artist i'm, I'm very inspired because this artist they're going to make houses according to their medium. Like if your met your medium is metal, metal. predominantly metal. metal yung house. <laughs> and then the designs are going to be like, you know, sculptural. Alam, oh. alam mo mga artists. Mm -hmm. Pag kaya nila, mm -hmm. ayaw nila magpatalbog. Parang pagandahan. Although in a, fr in a friendly way, parang friendly competition mm -hmm. ba na, Uy, itong ginawa ko. Ay, sige, gagawin ko rin ganito. You know, that's, that's how we do it. You're so busy now. Oh, no? oh. Uh, you also have an exhibit. Up yeah, coming. I'm having um, a solo show. I think, I don't know if it's an, the ninth or so solo June. show. at uh, Yeah, uh, it starts on, it opens on June 9 okay. at Gallery Joaquin BGC. Okay, we'll go. Uh, it, it 
will close on the 23rd, but the artist reception, June 20, please, mm -hmm. I'm inviting you and everybody who's interested in arts, mm -hmm. uh, please come and visit um, Gallery Joaquin during the, the time that exhibit the exhibit will run from June 9 to June 23. Mahaba. But the artist reception will be on June 20, 20. at 5 p.m. Okay. So okay. Uh, they will, will serve cocktails there. Masasarap magpakain oh, ng gallery oh. walking with you. <laughs> you go. What will be okay. the theme for that Please exhibit? Come. Oh, it's it's uh, a combination of this, all the series that I made in the past. I will, mm. of course, uh, predominantly mm. Santo Nino. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I have like eight or nine pieces of Santo Nino. Oh. And another out, big hit is the mother and child. <laughs> uh -oh. Mother and mm. child. I'll have mother and child. I'll have abstracts that when mm. I was just Your starting. Early works. Yes, yes. And then I also have female figures. Mm, that's something new for you. No, I've done that before and it was like a big hit also. So they <laughs> want me to, you know, um, make more of those. I think I, I sent pictures here. Yeah. If mm -hmm. I were to inspire you, mm -hmm. anong gagawin mo na Jojo? Oh, ay gagawin ko <laughs> sexy ang katawan. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe Jojo, it's been such a... Yeah. I really love talking with you. You're yeah. so interesting and yeah. as brilliant as your class. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm very oh, talkative. Oh, oh, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, it, oh, oh. Uh, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye for um, now. Okay. Um, before we end the show, maybe you'd like to say something to our yeah. viewers. Especially to women who yes, also yes. like to pursue uh, their art. I've always, um, people have always thought of me as somebody, uh, somebody who, want, who, who inspires women. Mm -hmm. And I agree in such that, you know, at, uh, at a mature age, you know, you don't really start something new in right. your life, right? But for me, I started when I was like 56 years old. <laughs> so, like, parang, oh, magre-retire ka na, what, what are you still doing? Oh. You know, I don't know if I wanted to prove something, or it's like I wanted to set a, an example, mm -hmm. because a lot of women are afraid to, to, to do Start something again. on their own. Mm -hmm. No, but ako, I've always been um, independent, and I've always wanted for women to shine, and if I can uh, be, a, be a figure that will inspire them, why not, di ba? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for me, for women who want to start um, something new, not only art or mm. sculpture or a new business or anything, mm -hmm. there's always uh, time as, for as long as you're living, you know? Oh, Habang nabubuhay, <laughs> while I, as oh. I live, I hope. Mm. There's always a time for something. Because when you were younger, you're busy with the raising children, oh, going oh. to school, raising children, oh, oh. you know. But then, ako, tap, nung natapos na yon, siguro, there's also time for yourself. For yourself. Yes, yes. yes. And this is the time for myself that I've created and I'm very happy with and what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. So I hope those who are wanting to do something new, especially arts, because you see, if you've always been uh, um, interested in the arts yourself, I think this is the right time to start. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm so inspired. Thank yeah, you very yeah. much, Marge, for joining yeah. us this afternoon. That was a very thank you so enlightening. Much. Thank you. Yes. And I'm so yeah. inspired, actually, by yeah, what yeah. you said in the end. Yeah. We hope to see you again. We hope to have you here in the studio yes. once again. Well, it will be my pleasure to keep coming here all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so thank you, everyone, for watching our show. Um, I am Dina Ventura. I'm Giorgio Silvestre. And this has been Perfect. Perfect.